Hello, welcome to Workout with Katie. Today we're going to be using resistant loop bands as well as hand weights. So we're going to start in the seated position and later on we're going to do some uh, workout in a standing position. So let's come to a comfortable seated position, standing up nice and tall. We're going to take a few calming breaths. We're going to inhale the arms up above the head. Turn to come up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale your arms up, big, big stretch, reach for the sky. Exhale down. One more, inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine, stretching out the back. Exhale, to come back down. We take a couple of calming breaths here, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders on top of hips, knees on top of ankle, chest proud, we're not pushing the stomach forward. Stretch out the neck next, neutral spine, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Or you can also wrap that arm around your waist. Using the same hand to guide support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly come back to center. Again, inhale, the center, exhale, and go to the other side. Near to shoulder, you can either extend up to the elbow or wrap that arm around the waist. Using the same hand, guide and support the head stretch. No need to rush. If there's any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. Holding here for three, two. And one, slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. We're gonna slowly turn, looking at the right side. Inhale, center, exhale, and go and look at the other side. Nice and slow with control. Inhale, come back to center, lifting the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, change your chest, relieve tension at the back of your neck. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look at the right arm hips, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Inhale, center, exhale, when you're low, and look at the other arm hips, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly come back to center and take a breath here, and then with the really shoulder stretch, right arm up, and across, pull back. Craving resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, pull back. Couple more breaths, and we'll slowly release. Same mom up with the first, place the head behind your back, and use that hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up and looking forward. Those who can bind hands behind you, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. No need to rush. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, looking out the other side. Um, up and across, pull back. Creating the system here. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. So you should feel the stretch in your shoulder joints. So be mindful for those who have shoulder issues or any issues at all. Slowly release. Same arm up. We'll make them first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Try to bring the fingers closer and closer together. Slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, I was in, that was out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Go to pinch your shoulder blades, opening up lung, heart, chest, improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joints. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Improving your posture. Continue to open up your lungs. Helping people with breathing related issues like asthma, allergies. Now we change direction, big, big circular motion. Try to bring the elbows closer and closer together. Slowly come back to center. We're going to inhale the arms up the length of the spine. Coming into a side bend. Now as I hang, grab all the inside. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. 
through the length in the side of the body. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, when you go to the other side. Outside hand, grab all of the inside wrist, chin this away from the body. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Inhale, center, lengthen, turn long. Exhale to the right, release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing in. Gathering a bit deeper in your side bend. Sitting securely on your chair, so you're not going to fall off. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale and go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing in. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back to center, lengthen. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, bring the back hand behind the spine. Slowly turn, overlooking the shoulder, looking about, turning the neck as far. Massage internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles, turning the neck as far. One more breath in, we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand, feel how the other arm is. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, bring it on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. For whatever you step up, see if you can turn a little bit more. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of some hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Coming into a toss and turn, shoulder roll, so starting out a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper toss and turn, moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way, change direction. Starting on a small circle first and then gradually do a deeper and deeper half a turn, moving your shoulders, warming up the spine. Slowly, slowly come back to center, to get a couple of coming back. And then we're gonna continue with the loop band. So pick up your loop band, keep your equipment with you. Now we're going to place it on the forearm. Shoulders are relaxed. And when you're ready, begin. Small little open close. Good posture always. As always, we listen to our body to avoid injuries. Do what you can today to challenge yourself. No need to exceed your limitation and your boundaries. Let's do another three, two, and one. Arms up above the head. Relax the shoulder down. Adjust your band if necessary. Smaller open curves. Let's do another three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Place the band on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one. Opposite hand, stabilize the band, the other one, loop the thumb through. And when you're ready, we're gonna extend I'm gonna give you a side view, you don't have to sit sideways. And we're gonna extend the arm out. Change the way from the body, eyes looking forward. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in towards the spine, Knob to the point of cramping. And when you release nice and slow, make sure the band doesn't snap back into you. Check your equipment regularly for wear and tear. Nice and slow with control. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, switching side. Lift the band on the shoulder, 
opposite hands stabilize the bend, the other one moves the front feet. I'm going to sit sideways. You don't have to sit sideways. I'm just going to extend the arm out. Now, you can only do halfway. That's fine. That allows this resistance. If at any time you need to take a break, if any need that causes you pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. Look after your body. It's all part of wellness, self-care, self-love. For those who wish to have further challenges, feel free to move up to the next band level and you can alternate between band levels. So let's do another three, two, and one, slowly, slowly come back, two, release, very good. Sitting up nice and tall here, take a couple of calming breaths, and we're gonna shoot the elbow, pull back, and release. So once again, I'm sitting sideways, you don't have to sit sideways, you can do it like this. So sideways, so you can see, I'm expanding my elbows up, Sitting up nice and tall here. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking towards the front. Once again, modification halfway. Make sure the bend doesn't snap back into you. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Release, and we're going to switch side. Move the thumb through. The other one, pull. So I'm sitting sideways. You don't have to sit sideways. You can continue like this, facing the front. So square the hip to the front. Pull back, release. Pull back and release. I'm resting my feet on riser because I'm a shorter person. So make sure your feet don't dangle. It's planted firmly on the floor. Pull back, release. We are stretching, strengthening, toning, conditioning different muscle groups, maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we age. Let's do another three, two, and one slowly, slowly release. We loop the band behind our back, wrap the arm around your waist, the other one loop the thumb through. So we're going to alternate the different arms so we're not overworking any particular part of the body. Chest proud, not pushing the hip forward. Let's do another three, two, and one slowly release. Wrap the arm around the waist, the other one with the thumb through, extend. Breathing in and out through your nose normally. We never hold our breath, and we don't breathe with the mouth open. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. Slowly, slowly come back to release, shake it out. We're going to place the band behind our head and we're going to pull. So you can only do one arm because this is a shorter one. So use the other arm and I'm just going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. So one arm wrap around your waist, the other one extend. Let's do another three, two, and one, and switching side. 
Not down around your waist, the other one pull it up. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Good posture always, chest curve. Try your best. We're gonna do a few more. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, 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 slowly. shake it out. We're gonna do alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly, cut back the center, shake it out. We're going to move the band on our thigh. Adjust your posture, sit down nice and tall. Tap the elbow, close your body, palm facing up. Pull it up. Now, if you can only do halfway, that's fine, depending on the weight of your band. Make sure this is that back into you. So another three, two, and one switching side. Place your leg into your bend, palm facing up. Tap the elbow, close your body. When you're ready, pull it up. Nice and slow of control. Why we cannot stop the process of aging through regular exercises, movement exercises, weight bearing exercises, and so on. We can slow down the process of aging, maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we age. Let's do another three, two, and one, very good. Now we'll place both legs into the van up on the thigh level. When you're ready, we're going to open, toes up the navel out, stretching the inner thighs, opening up the hip joint. Exhale to close, knees together, toes up the navel in. So we're going to open, close. For your own breath and your own pace. Open and close. Big muscle here for quadricep. So we do want to strengthen the quadricep, calf muscle, strengthening the entire leg to support knee function. No muscle in the knees, only ligaments and tendons. And we're going to add the upper arms as well. So when we open, arms up, cactus arm, palm facing knee. In, draw the elbows in, knees together, toes up a bit in. So when you're ready, open, close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. You don't have to think about when to inhale or when to exhale. Your body is already in automatic drive. That will breathe for you. Just breathe in and out through your nose. Warming up the body. Heart rate may be going up a little bit, but you shouldn't be sweating profusely or can't breathe. If you cannot breathe, hyperventilating. And you need to slow down and maybe stop. Get the brain busy to coordinate a movement. Let's do another three, two, and one. Stay here. Now we're going to open. So we're going to open our arms up above the head. In, draw the knees together, arms down. So keep going. A little bit of movement exercise. Connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Get the brain busy to coordinate the movement. 
open close. Let's do another three. Two. And one big, big stretch, reach for the sky. And slowly come back to center. I'm um, sorry, T. Lounging side to side while we open up the thigh, stretching on the inner thigh. So, lounging side to side. You don't have to open up your legs very wide. You can adjust the distance to suit your body type, your ability, and your level. You can always modify, change, adapt to suit your body type, your experiences, your body type, and your ability. Slowly come back to center, hand resting on your weights. We'll drop the shoulder in one at a time. Sitting securely on your chair, you're not going to fall off. And I'd like to center, taking a couple of calming breaths. Bring your hands to half center, press the palm together while we launch inside the side. Let's do another three. Keep pressing the palm together. Cheers. And one last one. Slowly come back to center, bring your legs together. Place one foot in the band, doesn't matter which one. Sitting so up nice and tall with your knee up. Extend, point your toes up to the ceiling. Slowly release, knee up, extend, and release. So we're at the opposite arm. Arm up and down. So up, point your toes up to the ceiling and down. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Control your movement always. No need to go back and no need to go fast. For those who wish to have bigger movement, go ahead, raise your arm up above the head. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. If you have frozen shoulder or shoulder related issues, if you like to go back to smaller movement, that's fine. Not hitting, not kicking, swing. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, switching side. Adjust your posture, sitting up nice and tall when you're ready. Knee up, extend, point your toes up to the ceiling. Slowly release, at the opposite arm when you're ready. Once again, get the brain basically to coordinate your group breath and your movement. So hopefully with the brain engaged, working, thinking, coordinating movement exercises, it may delay the onset of dementia. Let's do another three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release, switch inside. Then through the on the foot, sitting up nice and tall, and go open. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs. Bring it back in, lower down. So knee up, extend, open, close, and down. So you don't have to go very big. Know your range of motion. Watch your hip joint. Keep continuing strengthening the entire leg to support knee function. No muscle in the knees, only ligaments and tendons. You have the opposite arm, up, open, close, and down. Keep going, and you will grab in your face. Up, 
Châu Ký, stay down. Keep going with your morals. Know your range of motion. Stay within your comfort zone and yet challenge this beat. Okay, three, 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 Open now. Make sure the arm doesn't go to the back shoulder range where you can see it. Right side may be different from the left side, so that's perfectly normal. Do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Very good. Now we face both legs back into our bed. So you're nice and tall here. And we're going to lift the knee up, extend. Now, whatever you do, don't lean back. Feel free to hold on to the chair or place your hand on the thigh. So, so we got the abdominal muscles up and down. Knee up, extend, point your toes up to the ceiling, slowly release, knee up, extend. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to move the band to the calf area. Adjust your posture, sitting up nice and tall. Legs up, smaller, open shut. So once again, engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in towards the spine, but not to the point of cramping. Smaller open shut. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. So we come out of the bed. And we have a sip of water, big class break, and then we're going to continue with the long resistance bed. Now, fold it in half, adjust it to suit your body type. So we're going to extend. Now, we're not pushing the stomach forward, just remember neutral spine. Sitting up nice and square on your chair. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. If you can only do a little bit, it loses this resistance. That's okay. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're just going to release any tension that you may have in your shoulders. So we're going to make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it up to release again. Inhale, shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let go. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders up, tight, tight, tight. Oh, one last one. 
Very good. Shake it out. Continue with the long resistant bend. You're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend. Now we're not going to the back. We're not going to the back. Make sure you can see the band in front of you. Inhale, up, exhale, bend. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues, like frozen shoulders, shoulder injury, surgery, and so on. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Let's do another three. Two. And one coming to the top. Coming into side to side, coming into side bend. Chin is away from the body, eyes up here. Make sure you don't fall off the chair, sitting securely on the chair. Come back to center, coming into a big, big figure eight. Very kayaking motion. Slowly come back to center, change direction, go the other way. Just a couple more. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to get ready to stand up. So take your time to stand up. Keep your equipment with you. Coming into hamstring stretch, so I'm going to use the chair. If placing the leg of the chair is too high, challenging for you, leave the foot on the floor. So, legs up, point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front when you're ready. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. It's having the hand forward, grow longer, holding on to any part of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking ahead. Neck is long, spine is straight. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up, release. Alternating bend, release. Mountain climbing, basically, release any tension that you may have. Now we're going to down the other side. Place the leg on the chair. If this is too high, keep the legs on the floor. Square the hip to the front, inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, holding on to the inner part of the foot, the legs of the chair, not pressing your entire body weight on your leg. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. No grabbing the back or dropping the head. Stacking on the hamstring, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Two, release, very good. Standing up nice and tall here. Put yourself stretch. So we will shift the weight to one leg. It doesn't matter which one. Grab hold the other foot on ankles. Knees together. We're not opening up the knees. Knees together. Engage your core abdominal muscles. If you're not able to reach your foot, you can grab a hold of the pen legs or use a yoga strap, a belt, a towel, or a scarf to help you get to your foot. Lift the leg up, stretch out the quadriceps, engage your core abdominal muscles, working the standing leg and ankle. For prevention, we are doing balancing. For those who wish to challenge themselves, arms up. So continue with balancing. One more breath and slowly release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing. Bicycle, release any tension that you may have. And we'll repeat on the other side. So shift the weight to the standing leg. We have a hold the other foot or ankles, knees together, take the foot into your hand. Abs are firm. 
strengthening and sending an angle. If you like, when you release the opposite arm, coming into a balanced pose, taking the big toe down, stay grounded, holding it here for three, two, and one slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, basically. So we are done with the chair. So we're going to put the chair aside. Clear your space. Take water in it. And you grab a hold of the long resistant band. Step on the band. Equal distance. Sit down. Standing up nice and tall when you're ready. Put up to the shoulder height. Palm facing down. Adjust the length of your band to suit your height, your ability. One at a time first. Single, single. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. When you're ready, double. Let's do another three, two, and one. Crisscross. Do one arm at a time first. Bring it up to the shoulder height. Not higher than the shoulder. If you can only do halfway, that's fine, as long as you can see the resistance. Ready, double. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're just the length. So one side longer than the other side, one foot on the bed, and you're going to pull it up above your head. Once again, modification halfway. So another three, two, and one, repeat, put the side, adjust the length, when you're ready, pull it up above your head. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. So we are done with the long bend, and we're going to grab a hold of the hand weight. Take water if you need. Stay hydrated during the program. Make side of the palm, all ten toes facing the front. Tuck the elbow, close your body. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Alternating, one arm up, the other arm down. Palm facing up. Now when you release, nice and slow. 
Breathing in and out through the nose normally. So as for the hand weight, you can also have different weights with you that you can alternate between different weights to challenge yourself. And as soon as you feel that it's too much for you, causing your whole lot of discomfort, you can release. You can do this without hand weight, or you can move back down to a lighter weight. So let's try some doubles. I'm going to add some knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Weight is in your heel, stay grounded. All four corners of your foot is pressed down, taking the big toe down, regardless of whether you are flat foot or high arch. You don't have to go very low, bar stool height. Engage your core problem muscles. So let's do another three, two, and one, slowly, slowly come up to your knees. Very good, shake it out. Tuck your elbow, close your body. We're gonna extend to the back. So I'll give you a side view, extend. You don't have to stand sideways. You can continue to face the monitor. One at a time. Let's try some doubles. I'm gonna add some knee drops. So when you're ready, knee drops. Now, remember knee drops are optional. You don't have to do knee drops. Ah, so high. You don't have to go very right far down. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, really shake it out. Bring it to your chest level. So we're just going to go one at a time. So chest level. One at a time. Only up to the shoulder height. Modifications, halfway. Connecting your breath with your movements. Engage your core problem muscles. Chain is away from the body, eyes are controlled. Nice and slow of control. We're strengthening muscle mass. Let's do another three, two, and one. Take a breath here. I'm gonna add knee drop. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Now bring the weight above your head, hold on tight. We're gonna drop it behind our head, one at a time. Once again, feel free to do these moves without hand weight. You can always adjust, modify, 
change it up a little bit to suit your ability. Hold on tight. Don't drop the weight. Double, double. Feel free to go back to single if you like. Soft knees, unlock your knees. I'm going to add a knee drop now. For those who wish to challenge themselves, strengthening the entire leg to support knee function. Slightly tuck the tables in. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. So let's do another three, two, and one. Very we go. Slowly, slowly, the knees shake it out. Now we're going to go all the way down to the floor, that drop. So when you're ready, you're going to slowly come down, hinging from the hips, leaving with the chest. Slowly come down. When you come up, nice and slow of control. Watch your back. Watch your knee. Roll the shoulder back. Now, you can only do halfway. No problem. Just don't round the back. Don't become a hunchback. We're hinging from the hip part. Leading on the chest. Take your time to rise up. Coming in this forward bend. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, vertigo, and so on, if you don't want to do forward bend, no problem. Let's do another three. Two. And one last one. Slowly, slowly, release. Shake it out. Widen your stand. About three feet. Toes are pulling out. We just going to need one weight. One hand on your waist. Doesn't matter which hand you start first. We're going to punch it all the way down. Take your time to rise up. Bring the arms up above your head. Modification, halfway, coming up to cactus arm. Nice and slow, no need to speed up. Watch your back, watch your knee. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switching style, one hand on the waist, the other one punch down, toes are coordinated out, bring it all the way up, modification, halfway, coming up to cactus sound. Know your range of motion. Stay within your comfort zone and yet challenge me. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, release. Very good. Here we go, here we go. Bring the legs together. Grab the hold both weights. We just do one more. We're going to punch side to side. Legs are hip width apart. All 10 toes facing in front. Coming into a side bend. If you like, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up.
Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly come up, release. And now we'll come, lie down on your mat. Come lie down on your side. And we're just gonna keep the hand weight with us. Make yourself comfortable. No arm supporting your head. You can also lie on your tricep. You can do clamshell, so make yourself comfortable. Now, straighten out the leg first. And the knee. You're not drawing the knee close to the stomach. So, straight leg, bend the knee. We're going to do open shut clamshell. If you would like to add more weight on the thighs, go ahead, open, close. Weight are optional. We just want to make it a little bit challenging for us by using the hand weight. Let's do another three, two. And one, very good, slowly release, bring down the legs. If you like, can have the weight on the thigh, flex the foot. We're gonna come up to about one to two feet off the ground. Now weights are optional. If you prefer to do this, like exercise, without head weight, no problem. You don't need the head weight. Let's do another three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly release, switching side. So use the top hand to push yourself up, and we're gonna lie down on the other side. Doing time shell first, so straighten out the leg, flex the foot, get your weight ready, bend the knee. We're not drawing the knee close to the chest. So straight leg, bend the knee. Flex the foot, glue the feet together, climb shell, open shut. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, straighten out the leg, flex the feet, hand on the thigh. If you prefer not to do this with hand weight, just keep going like this. So raise the top leg up, one to two feet off the ground. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in. Let's do another three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release, and we're going to come, lie down on our back, we're going to go into the bridge pose, so keep both weights with you, one on each side, bend both knees, adjust your spine, release it down, keeping the neck and curve in the lower back, and make sure when you raise your arm up above the head, knuckles land on the mat, so, then both knees, knees are two sets apart, open up to, don't open up too much, walk the hips close your fingertips, we're going to practice lifting the hip up first, shine the chest up to the ceiling, not pushing the stomach up, neutral spine, engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadriceps and your glutes are firm, so it means pull your belly in, your thighs and your butt are firm, but not to the point of cramping. 
Now, for those who wish to add the hand weight, when you lift the head up, bring one arm up above the head. Now, come slam on the mat. Slowly release the arm and the hip back down. So hold on tight. Don't drop your weight. If you prefer not to do this with hand weights, no problem. One at a time. We are strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, keeping your spine healthy and strong for the rest of your lives. Breathing in and out through your nose. We never hold our breath. So it doesn't matter whether you use inhale to come up or exhale to come up. Your body's already in automatic drive. Now I'm gonna try both arms. So when you're ready, lifting the hips up, both arms up and above the head, fingernails on the floor, exhale to lower down, one word away at a time. So keep going. Let's do another three. Two. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. Then you come with the hand and so you can Leave it there, and you're going to wrench your wiper, drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. You don't so necessarily have to touch the mat. It's going to come off. Hit release, hit open it. Slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, pass it a few times. Come in to spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side of your neck stiff. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath here, slowly release, keep it on the other side. Left one on my thigh, using the right hand gently guide calmly. As close as far as possible, left arm on to the right. Turn over the left side of your neck again. One more breath here, we're going to slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back to the center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, grab your arms around the knees, rock them side to side. Change direction, go the other way. Take a certain emotion. Slowly, slowly come back to center, drop both knee to the right side. Reach your upright arm, go over to the right side of the body. Come into a fetus position. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing your positive energy with all of us, and letting me guide through the workout. Always my pleasure.